Welcome to Veranda IAS. This is a foundation course for environment. As in previous session, we have discussed about the previous year prelims question analysis as a two part. Now we are going to discuss about mains analysis for a previous year questions. And this is a part one. In this, we are going to discuss about the category of a questions. The categories are factual, concept, map based and current affairs as like in the prelims also. So, for example, let us start with the factual based questions. In here, the question is about National Ganga mission for a clean Ganga and the program causes of a mixed results of a previous scheme and they are also asking about what quantum leaps can help the preserve the river Ganga better than the incremental inputs. In this question, we need to note the main point of National Ganga mission project and also the causes of the mixed results and also the quantum leaps to preserve the river Ganga which means that they are asking about the project and they are also asking about the mixed results of the previous scheme which means that this scheme is not implemented only once it was implemented previous also which is implemented in 1985 then in 1993 then also in the June of 2014. So you need to know all the basic concepts about the mission of the project then they are also asking about the river Ganga better incremental inputs which means this defection is caused mainly based because of the open defecation in the in and around of a Gangan area and the local festivals also causes the main reason for the pollution of a Ganga. So based on this reasons we need to come up often. This is a basic public problem and what is a government side problem why this program is getting continuously delayed means the contract delay and the recontract delay and they are very slow in process they are saying a reasons about the public process and also about the local festivals. So based on this you need to consolidate your answers like introduction should be about the Namami Gange project and when it is started by whom what are the years and why it is getting delayed and what are the problems for the delay and you should make the concepts and factual points about the Namami Gange mission and also you need to explain about how to overcome the problems and also give the inputs about the concepts and consolidate your answers based on the 150 words. This is how you need to write the answer for this Namami Gange project. And second, the frequency of the urban floods. Here they are talking about the flood which is completely different from the urban. The both the factual questions you need to see the urban flood is different from the Namami Gange. So based on that we need to come up with the different concepts which means now I will explain you in this question how to differentiate the factual points. In this question we are going to talk about the urban floods due to high intensity rainfall increasing over the years and discussing the reasons for the urban floods and we are highlighting the mechanism for the preparedness to reduce the risks of the events, which means in this question we need to know what is urban flood and why the frequency of the urban flood increases high during the rainfall and also they are asking about the reasons for the urban floods and they are asking us to highlight the mechanism for the preparedness which means that we need to explain in this question as because of the deforestation as the urban flood increases we need to recover the major points from the deforestation. So we need not repeat the things which makes the urban floods. So we need to make a mechanism for the preparedness to reduce the risk during this events which means government have formed a more number of schemes to reduce the urban floods. So we need to go through the schemes, we need to know all the schemes, when it is implemented, which ministry have implemented. So for this, analyzing this question, before getting into the answer writing and making it a consolidated answer, we need to know basic points like what is urban flood and why it is increasing frequently in this years and you also need to know the reasons for the urban floods. And we need to know what is a mechanism to reduce these urban floods. This is what we need to write in this consolidated answer. We need not write about what are urban floods, what are kind of types of urban flood comes and we should not write about how it affects more in this point. 
we should make how it affects but it should not be a lengthy than the concept this is how we need to make the urban flats and this comes up concept based questions and the first concept based question is we are suggesting a measure to improve the water storage and irrigation system to make its judicious use under the depleting scenario which means simple the way of understanding the question is simple because here they are asking about the water storage and irrigation system in a bigger form to explain you that they are asking you to just suggest the measures to improve the water storage and irrigation system and also they are making to under the depleting scenario how it can be used which means here you need to know what is water storage and what is irrigation system which means you need to know what are the different kinds of irrigation system there are all localized irrigation system traditional irrigation system water based irrigation system localized and what are the irrigation systems are there we need to know about it there is a trip irrigation also and we need to know what are the systems followed for wa water storage it may be a dam storage or it may be a tank storage or it may be stored in a small area in a village for their agriculture process and for a drinking process so we need to know what are the measures to improve the water storage and irrigation system in this question first we need to write about a simple word about what is water storage and what is irrigation system in the introduction part and suddenly we need to start explaining about the measures of the water storage and irrigation system this is how we need to start writing the answer when you suggest measure for water storage and irrigation system it should not be in a single passage it should be in a bullet points and it you can also suggest as a different topics with subtopics with water storage separate and irrigation system separate which makes a depleting scenario and it should be a continuity from top to bottom it should not be a discontinuous process this is how we need to start writing the answer writing practice these are all very basic questions which we know and we read in all ncerts and our school syllabus this is how the questions will be coming and we need to know how to consolidate the answer because when it comes to the water storage and the irrigation system we will have uh, many ideas about the system because we know more data about it so when it comes to 150 points you need to know how much words you should write for it and how much kind of a place you should take for the answer and what are the information you should use for this concept this is how we need to frame the answers and the next question is pursuit of the carbon credit and clean development mechanism set up under unfcc to be maintained even though there has been a massive slide in the value of a carbon credit discuss the respect india's energy need for economic good growth this is the main point we need to notice in this here they are asking about carbon credit they are asking to pursue the carbon credit they are not exactly asking about what is a carbon credit they are simply asking about the carbon credit and how it comes under the clean development mechanism to set up under the unfccc and they are also asking about the to respect india's energy need for economic growth so here you need to write about carbon credit before writing it you need to know what carbon credit and when it joined with unfcc and using what protocol and with this how the energy of india gets economic growth so you need to know all this basic conceptual points so that you can write the answer in a very consolidated way for example when it comes under a carbon credit you should note uh, know to tell that how it increases a greenhouse gases as unfcc is getting joined with india in the year of 2002 with the using a kyoto protocol and this is how we need to consolidate the answer and finally we here discussing about here with the how energy needs for economic growth is increasing for india with the carbon credit which means that we are selling our co2 which is unused we are selling out and we are earning about the money with the foreign currency when a 10 percentage of amount we are earning which leads to the million dollar income for the india this is how the solid waste management increases the income of the india this is how we need to consolidate the answer for the carbon credit you need to know what is carbon credit 
when India joined with UNFCC and also you need to know how India's energy need for economic growth is getting increased when a carbon credit comes in. This is how we need to consolidate the answer. We need to know the key points like when it joined, what is a carbon credit concept we need to know and we also know how this massive changes happens when it comes under the economic growth for India. This is how we need to consolidate the answer. Key points is very important and making a formation of the concept is very important and when it coming to the consolidation of answer, we should not rearrange the words. It should be in the order of how the question is asked. It's like when first you need to write about carbon credit, then you need to write about when India joined with UNFCC and how it joined, then you need to give this idea about the energy need for a economic growth and how it supports India's economic growth. This is how we need to form the answer. This is the concept based question and it ends here. This is how we need to make an answer for concept based and factual based questions for the mains. Thank you.